In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at some identifying parts of a parabola. I have an example here of just a rough sketch of a parabola that has a vertex sitting there at 2, 2, and it's an upright parabola. Okay, so I've just used the word vertex as one vocab word, so right there is the vertex of the parabola. All right, and then we are going to have the axis of symmetry, which goes through that vertex. So your axis of symmetry would be an up and down line that goes through the center of that parabola. And that is the axis of symmetry. And it's always represented by an equation because it is a vertical line. So in this scenario, that would be x equals 2 for that axis of symmetry. Okay, now other things. Once you have your uh, a sketch of a parabola and you know where the vertex is, you know, find that um, axis of symmetry, I can go through and I can ask for decreasing uh, intervals, increasing intervals, whether this vertex is a minimum or a maximum. I can also do domain and range. So let's take a look at a few of those. If I needed to find the decreasing intervals on this parabola. Okay, so decreasing intervals. All right, well, where is the function decreasing? All right, well, it's going to be decreasing as we draw the parabola this way. Um, intervals are always in terms of our x variables, you know, along the x-axis. This is where we're going to get it. And intervals, for the most part in my class, we always just use um, open curvy brackets. So how far left does this parabola go? Well, it goes all the way to negative infinity. So it goes from negative infinity, and it decreases until it gets to x equals 2. All right, and then increasing intervals. Increasing intervals. All right, well, increasing would be on this portion of the parabola. Well, what x value does it start at? It starts at 2, and then it increases forever and ever to the right, which means our x value is going to positive infinity. So there is your uh, decreasing and increasing intervals for the parabola. Uh, this vertex is a minimum, so we have a minimum, I'm going to abbreviate that, at the ordered pair 2, 2. And we have our axis of symmetry, which we labeled over here axis of symmetry, and that's going to be written in the form of an equation, x equals 2, because it's the equation of that um, imaginary vertical line there that cuts the parabola in half. Let's go ahead and also do domain and range. The domain of this parabola, okay, well, it is a polynomial curve. It is smooth and continuous everywhere. It goes on forever and ever and ever. So because it is that polynomial curve, we know the domain is all reals or negative infinity to positive infinity if we're using interval notation. And then we can also take a look at the range. All right, range is what um, y values does this parabola cover? Okay, the lowest y value is 2, and it is included in our function. And then how high up does the parabola go? Well, it goes up forever and ever and ever, so all the way up to positive infinity. So that's not um, absolutely everything that you could probably do with a parabola, but it's a lot of things, especially initially when you're introduced to parabolas and you're looking at those um, decreasing and increasing intervals, minimums, that axis of symmetry is very standard anytime you deal with a parabola. So just a few things that I wanted to touch base on and identify when trying to take a look at a parabola. Definitely thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.